Dr. Gottlieb takes over as FDA commissioner and addresses his staff. Dr. Scott Gottlieb made his first official announcement to the FDA staff last week with an FDA all-hands meeting letter. In his letter, he talked about his goals for protecting consumers and promoting public health in all of the many different ways that a doctor would. He also discussed his previous work with the FDA, which I think is just his way of helping his team understand that he's experienced and that the FDA is in good hands. It was a very optimistic letter overall, but let's get to the point that you're probably most interested in. Gottlieb's views on vaping. He actually didn't address vaping specifically, but he did make some hints. I'm going to read the relevant parts of his letter. So he said, there's probably no single intervention or product we're likely to create in the near future that can have as profound an impact on reducing illness and death from disease as our ability to increase the rate of decline in smoking. We need to redouble efforts to help more smokers become tobacco free. And we need to have the science base to explore the potential to move current smokers, unable or unwilling to quit, to less harmful products if they can't altogether. At all times, we must protect kids from the dangers of tobacco use. Now, many people in the vape community are highlighting that part about less harmful products. Before we jump to conclusions, though, we should consider that he could be talking about pharma products or NRT products like nicotine gum and the patch. He didn't specifically mention vaping, although the very careful wording of his statements lead me to believe that he is talking about vaping. And we know that Gottlieb has ties to the vaping industry. He was the director of Cure, K-U-R-E, a vape shop in Charlotte, North Carolina, for more than a year. And according to his financial disclosures, he had financial interest in that company as of March of this year, 2017. And while we're on that topic, I've heard a lot of talk about Gottlieb saying that he would recuse himself from the vaping industry for a year. But I think people are misinterpreting what he said. Gottlieb's conflict of interest filing stated that he will not participate in any matter involving specific parties for one year after resignation. In this letter, Gottlieb stated that he resigned from Cure in May 2016, which means that one year is now up. And even if it wasn't, I think there's some wording here that's open to interpretation. He says he won't participate in anything related to specific parties, but he doesn't say anything about industries as a whole. I think he worded this in a way that allows him to make decisions related to the vaping industry, but not specifically to benefit Cure. That's my interpretation of it anyway, but we'll just have to wait and see. I'm excited for Gottlieb to take over as commissioner of the FDA. I, th I think there is a lot of promise here.